Welcome back. Left you off with this cliffhanger, literally cliffs of Vancouver Island, but we've had several earthquakes in this area right here on the Juan de Fuca plate. Now what's happening here is a plate is subducting right up under the North American plate and that is causing the heightened activity. Now a lot of these dots are indicating right on the boundary, uh, but it's actually located right behind that where the plate is splitting apart. So there's differences right here. This is the Juan de Fuca plate, North American plate right here, and essentially this plate right here is going up under this plate right here. So that's when we have big earthquakes, typically right here on the Cascadian subduction zone. But where these earthquakes actually are, it's a little off centered or right back at the very back of this plate boundary. And what's happening back there is it's splitting apart. Now, the earthquake today doesn't cause any tsunami threat because of multiple reasons. Now, the big reason is the plate right behind it, the uh, fracture zone, is sliding rather than uh, kind of subducting under the other plate. So what that does is not create as big of waves, only minute waves uh, really across the Pacific. Now, the other big factor is this was a relatively weak earthquake and the aftershocks behind it. We usually need about a 7.0 magnitude to cause a major tsunami, and we were at about a 6 point five magnitude. And the other issue is it's about seven miles deep. Whenever we have tsunami threats, it's very shallow at the very bottom of the ocean. And this is uh, right up under the ocean surface, about seven miles below the ocean floor. So that's why we're not really expecting any major tsunami threat, but they are actively watching these, the USGS that is, for any potential threat. Now, right now there is no concern, but these earthquakes uh, and aftershocks are continuing offshore. This is a very highly uh, earthquake activity zone right off our coast, but we'll be watching it closely. Now